This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello, welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. My name is Shannon Morris. It's your weekly dose of Technolist. Yay! Yeah, Technolist has been happening lately, huh? Yes, it has. This weekend was amazing. The party. The party was amazing. Was fabulous. I'm I'm on like cloud nine that still to this day that we are, well, one, finally even able to talk about this thing that for the last, like, oh, so long wanted to We've say something. We've been keeping it so quiet. <laughs> it's, been, it's just been too much fun developing Oh, oh did you hear on Mac rumors that apparently it was supposed to be running Android or something? Oh, I don't know where you got that rumor, because oh. I heard that it was actually going to be based on an Itanium chip. Really? Yeah. I heard it was going to have, like, six USB ports. Yeah. And two of them were going to be pink. <gasps> That's right. I remember you reading mm -hmm. about that. Obviously, this it's true. Is, this is just, we are like ecstatic. I mean, as you guys know, we've been working on the Pineapple Project for quite a while now. To be able to do something like this uh, on like the Hack 5 level is just insane. So we are su super proud of this. Um, and we're going to have, have a whole bunch more coming up here soon about some of the advanced wireless attacks that having this kind of formidable hardware allows us to do. Um, By the way, we should probably mention that it's called the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark V. Oh, yes. <laughs> this thing it, that we keep this on thing insinuating. That we keep mentioning <laughs> that. Like, see, it was so much fun. We even got to do industrial design and stuff. Yeah, you did a great job on the now, design. Not just I like it. A router that we throw in a box. There's <laughs> a router in a box. No, it's all, it's all, ooh, pretty. It's all pretty now. Yes. I'm, actually, what I love is, uh, what was that line from uh, that dual core song? Get your Wi-Fi tackled by Hack 5 Pineapple. Yes. <laughs> And yet, with the Elite, it's like the Wi-Fi tackle box. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Get your Wi-Fi tackle. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, oh, oh, Darren. I'm, I'm too much of a dark. <laughs> well, today, I have a pretty awesome segment for us. Whoa. Yeah, wait to yeah. the show. This is ridiculous. I can't wait to get my hands on one. I'm, I'm so serious that this is probably one of the more revolutionary kinds of, like, piece of gaming gear I've seen in the last 10 years. Yeah, like, it's everything been else a while since we've seen something this that's just, cool. This is OMG WTF BBQ. This didn't exist until now. <laughs> More on that later. We are so excited to introduce. Um, it's called the Cast AR. So 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 cool. The Cast R. Cast R. Cast R. <laughs> okay. Yar. Cool. Well, I'm gonna let you get into that, and then I'll see you at the end of the show. All right. All right. Peace. I'm here with Rick Johnson from Technical Illusions. Now, this year, you guys are coming out with this really cool project, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Seriously, I'm super excited. After demoing it, I was just like, oh. So this is called the Cast AR, correct? Correct. And you are the guy that's behind all the software, correct? Correct. So how did you get started in this? So uh, originally, I was working at Valve Software, and uh, Jerry Ellsworth was also working at Valve Software. She was hired to create the hardware lab so that Valve can begin experiments in that area. Mm -hmm. She was working late one night on a particular vision project and stumbled across a, an odd side effect of a material that was sitting off in the distance that had a super bright reflective property. And so she went to investigate it and determined it was a piece of retro material, which is this. Ah, this. Okay. And that upon doing some more experiments, it was a great technique for doing augmented reality. Ooh. So she started to experiment and create a prototype headset. And I learned about it and I decided to start writing some software to help uh, realize how augmented reality works, what type of games we can do, what doesn't work, experiments, and just learn about the space. So what's your history with software development? So I've been in the video game industry for about 23 years. I was cool. one of the four people that started Raven Software, stayed there for about yeah. 17 years, worked for Gearbox for a little bit, and then worked for Valve for about four and a half years. Oh, so fun. Okay, now we have a very, very geeky audience, and I really want to introduce them to the idea of software development for mm -hmm. the Cast AR. Um, is it open source? Is, can people develop their own games for this? So the internal guts won't be open source because there's some licensing material that prevents us from right. releasing that aspect. There'll be a very low level SDK that will give you access to the hardware, the raw tracking data, the RFID information. Cool. So that if they have a custom engine, a custom game, they can talk to that and hook it up very quickly. The other thing we're offering is a high level SDK. And so all the demos we've shown in the Kickstarter video are running under Unity. Mm -hmm. And within about five minutes, you can take any existing game and get it going in our space. All Unity, huh? Yes. Oh, that's super easy. I think pretty much everybody is familiar with that. Unity has been a great platform. They have a, yeah. uh, one of the best features is the asset store. 
And for us as independent developers, we can buy assets and showcase our space really well. Right. Now, can you tell me a little bit about how the software works? The software works by getting data from the head tracking camera. Mm -hmm. It's very efficient of what the hardware is doing. It's only about 72 bytes of frame that's coming down to the computer. Really? Wow. Really. And uh, from there, we take the, the data and figure out where you are in the physical space and return uh, rendering parameters to you. View origin, matrices, all that kind of stuff. From there, you just plug it into your engine, and you have a nice rendering display. Wow, that's so fun. Ooh, I'm so excited to get my hands on this. I can't wait. Now, I really want to check out the hardware as well. Do you think we can get uh, Jerry over here? Yeah, we might be able to convince her to come on. All right, cool. Well, thank you, Rick, for letting me know a little bit about the software. I can't wait to actually see it for myself. And right after the break, we're going to speak with Jerry Ellsworth about the hardware side of Cast AR. Budding entrepreneurs, startups, and innovators are all turning their ideas into realities backed by the strength of a .NET domain. And you guys know, .NETs are globally known. They're one of the most popular domain extensions online. They inject your business with instant credibility, and you can immediately discover the benefits of building your presence around a .NET domain. See, if you already have a .com, well, then you can get the corresponding .NET and protect your brand. You know, if the .com you want is already taken, well, the .NET is a perfect alternative. And if you'd like one, you can get them the same place Shannon and I do over at at domain.com. We love shopping with them. They're so easy to use, reliable, affordable. You can tweet them at domain.com. Makes it really fun to do business with them. They're only $8.99 a year for .NETs, but get this, they get even better because the guys over at domain.com are huge fans of ours and they want to hook you up with 15% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HAK5 at domain.com's checkout. That's 15% and big savings, so don't forget to use the coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Welcome back, and it is now time for the trivia question of the week. Now, last week's trivia question was, the Advanced Encryption Standard, aka AES candidate RC6, was based on RC5. What does RC stand for? And the answer was, RC stands for Rivis Cipher, or alternatively, Ron's Code. Now this week's trivia question in it is, what is the name of the developer who first introduced the concept of Bitcoins? You can answer that question over at hack5.org trivia for your chance to win some awesome Hack5 goodies.